How's it going? Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, listen, it's been kind of a rough day, and I was wondering if I can get a half a bag of nuts from next week's ration, you know, just take the edge off. Uh, no. Look, just give me some nuts. There's 246 bags left, and they have to go a long way. You suck. I rule. So, I left him hanging there, but this morning he was gone, and I didn't hear an ambulance, so I'm sure he's fine. You know, helping people is his own reward. Mother Teresa didn't spend 45 years ministering to the sick so she could get a Nobel Peace Prize. But I bet it didn't hurt having a little something on the mantle to brag about over drinks. I think you're confusing Mother Teresa with Dick Butkus. Hey, could you hold this a second? Oh, that goes against my helpless policy. Have you not been paying attention at all? Hey, buddy. A little help here. You can't be serious. I, I, I think I got it, actually. I, oh, be careful. Don't look at me. I didn't do anything. <sighs> okay, now it's 35 bucks? Who's gonna pay that? 40. I suck on that, disco diva. You hear the nut man retired? Ugh, don't remind me. I snacked on croutons yesterday and not the garlic kind. I'd give anything to get my hands on some nut man nuts. Hey, Crystal, can you keep an eye on my bobblehead for me? No, I'm working. 45? Anna, there's my favorite girl. Uh-oh. So just keep an eye on this number right here, and if it goes up, then bid $5 higher. Is that Mo Bobbly Head? Uh-huh. I love the Three Stooges. Woo, 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 Why I order? Mm, nah, nah, nah. Mm. <laughs> Finally, someone who appreciates culture. Oop, the number just went up. Oh, wise guy, eh? So what if I decide not to help out? There's like a gajillion other people to pick up the slack. That's exactly the type of attitude that breeds, and pretty soon nobody's helping anybody. Could you close the door, please? Would that be helpful? Yeah, no. <laughs> that tricked you. That was totally helpful. No good is going to come from this policy of yours. Well, you can thank jerk face Maxwell Smythe for that. Maybe he just caught him on a bad day. You know, maybe his mom just died. Maybe his boat sank. Maybe his mom was on the boat when it sank. His poor mom. She was probably really close to retirement. I'm, I'm not saying that actually. I mean, they, they're all possible potentialities. But look, you know what you need to do? Just go back and talk to the guy. Tell him how you feel. Clear the air. Yeah, I guess I should. Jesus, poor mom. And it just makes you realize how fragile life really is. I talk. Sure. Hello? Hi, Crystal. It's Sheila from Accounting. I need you to come here for a minute. What for? I, uh, just come here. What are you doing? Uh, I was uh, looking for post-its. You mean post-it tertios? What? Shh. Uh, I don't know what you're getting at. Maybe Sheila knows what you're getting at. What has gotten into you? And who's Sheila? Anyways, this kitchen is filthy. Clean it up. I I'm going back to my office and I'm going to try and get some work done. Joyce. Hi. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> I've got to, uh, uh, excuse me. Ah, Jimmy. Word around the office is you're jonesing for some nuts. I have a line on some nutman pistache. Oh, yeah? How much? Ten bucks. Ten bucks? That's crazy. How do I know they're the real thing? <laughs> First one's free. 
Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Sheila. So how are you set for snacks? Tell your friends. Joyce, hi, I was just... You're not going anywhere. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm a weak, pathetic man. What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? You know where the nuts are hidden and I want some. Name your price. Ten. Fifteen dollars a bag. Fifteen? I'm not paying that. I'm sure there are other methods of payment. Fifteen is fine. Cheap. Maxwell, hi. Uh-huh, what can I do for you? I was uh, the person who returned your wallet the other day. Uh-huh. And, well, you didn't seem that grateful. <laughs> But I know you've had a lot going on with the funeral arrangements and the insurance for the boat and everything. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I thought I would come by and give you the opportunity to say thank you. Are you really that insecure that a thank you from me will help prop up your fragile ego? Oh, maybe money will help. I didn't come here for... Here, let me give you 10. You know what? Make it $20. Thank you so much for finding my wallet. Okay, now you're just getting... Whatever would I have done if you hadn't swooped down and changed... Hey! Wait a second! See, was I right or... Run! Oh, crap. <gasps> Madre de changos. Did it go up again? Way up. Well, he never gave you a price limit, did he? But $150 seems awfully high for a bubbly head. He wants it pretty bad. I guess you're right. Hey, Anna. How's that bobblehead head bidding going? Well, you're on top for now. But that disco diva is a nasty hag. There's no need for name calling. Oop. I have a meeting with Joyce. But you're on my list of people she doesn't have meetings with. Taylor, so good to see you. Really? Come on in, let's get started. Can I get you anything? Well, I have some good news. He's going to thank me, finally. I guess sometimes in this old world, you need to steal someone's wallet to help them realize what an ass he is. Not exactly. He's going to have you released, but uh, only if you thank him for not pressing charges. Thank him? I'd rather die. I'd rather be dipped in chocolate, cut up into little pieces, put in boxes, and fed to hungry housewives who sit around watching daytime soaps. Ah, where the hell am I going with this? No idea. But even though he's a jerk, I, I still think you should thank him. Give me one good reason why. Because it doesn't look good to have a children's author with a, a record for theft and resisting arrest. I wasn't resisting arrest. I was resenting arrest. He bit me. Out of resentment. Now, this is crazy. What? Did it go up again? That's it. I am not paying $250 for a bubbly head. You're not paying. Taylor's paying. Not anymore. He isn't. But there's only 10 seconds left. You won this time, Disco Diva. No! Damn it. I know. I'm upset, too. Thank you! What was that? I couldn't hear you. I said... Thank you! For? For not pressing charges. Because? Because I stole your wallet. After you were being a jerk for not thanking me for finding your wallet. You're welcome. I certainly hope you've learned your lesson. And I hope you sit on something sharp. Mmm. Here are those contracts you asked. Four. Hi, Crystal. That's it. I'm taking the rest of the nuts and hiding them somewhere nobody knows but me. Yeah. About that? They're all gone? You sold all my nuts? Not sold. Okay, yeah, I sold them, but look at how much cash I made. I'll take that. I have a certain Mo bobblehead to pay for. 
You have a what? This sucks. Yes, it does. Although maybe one day you'll look back on this and laugh. Or want to kill him less. It's your call. Ah, oh, for the love of... Smythe! You dropped your wallet! Thank you. Well, there you go. You gotta thank you. You feel better? I'm starting to. Look at him there. Just mocking me. I felt bad, so I got you another bubbly head. This one's even funnier. Mr. Bean. He's funny, and yet he never says a word. Taylor, what are you still doing here? Anna, stop wasting time and see about the ferns in the hall. And where is Crystal? All right. How much to come out of retirement? Little Missy Grumpaloo was out for a walk one day when she saw Grandma Grumpaloo drop a big bag of apples. Missy gathered up all the apples and gave them back to Grandma Grumpaloo. But Grandma Grumpaloo didn't say thank you, and Missy thought that was pretty lousy. But then, when Missy got home, she saw that Grandma had used the apples to bake a fresh, yummy pie. So Missy snuck into the kitchen and stole Grandma's pie to teach her a lesson about being grateful. 